Alright everybody, welcome back to Gogo -Go Retro Mario 64 in the last episode. We took care of the bottom third floor, and now we finally reached the final top floor. So, in today's episode, we're going to go ahead and take on Tick Tock Clock. But before we do that, we're going to talk to our little buddy Toad here. What's going on, Toad? There's something strange about that clock. As you jump inside, watch the position of the big hand. Oh, look what I found. Here, Mario, catch! Wow, thanks, Toad. You're not so weird and creepy after all. Here we go. Wow, another power star. Mario gains more courage from the power of the castle. Do you want to save? Sure, why not? Okie dokie. All right, so TikTok Clock. Probably one of the most frustrating levels in the game, but there's a little trick to it. Uh, if you put the clock at a certain hour, you can actually, I believe it's at noon and at three. If you put the clock at any, if you have the two hands measuring at any of those times between the main hours, you can actually freeze the clock so it doesn't move. And if you're like me, which, you know, don't be, um, it actually makes the level a lot easier to manage and actually easier to play when the clock is not in motion. Like, I can say that straight up from the get-go. <laughs> as long as the clock's not moving, you're going to be fine. But I will say this, there are certain port ports, parts of the game, of this level anyway. Oh, no! Eat it like I can. Uh, but there are certain parts of the game where... Or that level where it makes it easier when the clock is actually moving, so you can actually get to the stars that you need to. But sometimes it's best to have it not moving. Don't do what I just did and completely bite it right there at the beginning. Because, you know, you're not going to make any progress that way. But I will say this, I will guarantee you guys this, there's, there's a good probability that I will probably lose at least maybe two or three lives in this level. Because this is one of the harder ones. This is... These are the levels that, I guess, um, in, in lack of a better word, these are the levels that put all your platforming skills to the test, basically. It's like everything you've learned so far, like in all of Mario 64, they all come up to this part of the part of the game. It's like you gotta you gotta make sure you know how to wall jump. You gotta make sure you know how to like, you know, long jump. You gotta make sure how you you can like run across the line properly. You got it, it takes a lot. It takes a lot, but Hopefully, if the uh, Mario gods are looking upon us today, that we'll be able to beat this level no problem. The Pit and Pendulum. Okay. And for those of you who don't know, actually the day I'm recording this, today is actually National Mario Day. So how about that? So for those of you who enjoy the Mario, who love the Mario, uh, happy National Mario Day. No! Oh, God! That's... <laughs> it's gonna be one of those levels. It's gonna be one of those. Okay. I'm just gonna wait for the clock to hit number three so I can go inside. Uh, I don't think I got it. Dang it. I jumped in a little too soon. Okay, the pendulum. Yeah. Oh, great. Now it's moving at normal motion. That's all right. But yeah, uh, for those of you who do who do enjoy the Mario, today is National Mario Day, so happy National Mario Day to all of you. Um, honestly, I feel like it's a meaningless thing to, to celebrate because there's like a national something day every day. There's like national guys who wear leggings day or like national, national no back acne day or something. It's just, it's... It's, it's kind of ridiculous with some of the things that there's a national day for, let's be real here. But, you know, at least it's something that I like, you know, National Mario Day is pretty cool. I like that, so, you know, happy National Mario Day, guys. Let's see if I can... Ah. Come on. There it is. That way I don't have to go through half of the level, I can just do that little quick wall jump. I'm, I mean, I'm, I know I didn't do it the first try, but come on guys, you gotta cut me some slack here. Damn, don't save. Yeah, there we go. 
Making progress, I guess. Get a hand. Okay. Right. And if this is the star that I think it is, I'm going to try. I'm going to say most hands are going to point to failure. <laughs> but if I can do this properly, I won't need to block hand to get to the star. Okay. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um, I think I'm getting close. There it is. Okay. So, the trick here is to jump and then do my kick and then jump into the hole. So, there it is! Ha <laughs> ha! That worked out perfectly. And I can't believe I did that first try. Apparently, the Mario gods are in my favor today. I'm believing I'm believing that's what it is all right I think I'm gonna hold off and wait till it's three o'clock so I can jump in the clock because I feel like this next star might be a little tough and we may need the clock to not be moving in order to get to it so huh, there we go what do we got stomp on the thwomp right. okay for this one I'm actually gonna do this since I have to get to the very top of the clock to do this star what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go ahead and get the hundred coins because what the well I didn't need that coin anyway because like with the hundred coin star in this one I actually need to go all the way to the top and then all the way back down to the bottom in order to get the red coin star and since the red coin star is like just right here I can actually knock this out and get it done so I'm just gonna grab as many coins as possible on my way to the top so I can get technically two stars in one level. And the red coin star will actually be a little bit shorter. And plus, the less amount of time I have to spend in this level, the better. Because this level is so... its This is a racking level. It's like, it, it keeps you on your toes. It keeps you on your toes. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, there we go. And here's another thing too. I, I have to mention this. Um, I don't know. I don't know if you guys realize this, but the camera, the camera in this level is the absolute worst. Like this is probably one of the like the worst levels for the camera in this level. Because there's so many like little things that like cut the cut the camera angles off, so it makes it harder for it to position the camera. So it makes it equally as difficult for you to like position yourself properly when you're when you're trying to make a jump or get like a better angle on something it is absolutely it is absolutely not mind-numbingly frustrating sometimes but I know what you're trying to do I'm not gonna let you grab my coins get out of my face phew that was close alright we need to come over here to get the blue coin switch there we go the camera. There we go. Beautiful. 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 But you see what I mean, though. There's so much stuff in the way. It get, it gets in the it gets in the vision of the camera, so it makes it. Uh! Okay. Don't do don't do athletic super jumps. Don't do athletic super jumps. No, no, don't do that, Mario. Don't do that. I know you want to be fancy, huh? You want to be fancy, but we can't be fancy here. It's too dangerous here. It is too dangerous here. Okay. So then we do... Huh. There we go. Then we do this, and then we jump over here. Because if I'm not mistaken, there actually is... Yeah, there's a box of coins right here. There we go. There's a star right there, but... Oh my god, thank god that platform was there. <laughs> okay, so we don't do that again. It's so... Oh my god, man, I'm nervous. It's, 
I really, like, I've already eaten it twice on this level, so I'm trying really hard not to do that multiple times. And since I already have 72 coins, I really don't want to mess it up. And... It's like, I literally have to take everything super strategic! Otherwise, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna bite the big one, and that's not a good thing. Okay, alright, and wall jump. Backflip. All right, it's so clenched, man. It's so clenched. Okay, here we go. All right, I don't know why. I know the clock is stopped, but I get walking across right here. I feel like <laughs> I feel like they're gonna push me off, even though I know they're not. Oh my god! I have like zero depth perception too, so this is <laughs> this is not this is not going the way I wanted it to. But that's okay. The, the most important thing is that we don't lose... Okay. Okay. The most important thing is that we don't lose any lives. Wait, can I just do this? No, it's not. The cage, the cage is fully covered. I was going to say, can I just do the side jump in, into it? But apparently I cannot... Okay. Coins. Yes. I could have done the side jump, but I didn't want to risk it. I have to be Mr. Safety Safe. Mr. Safety Safe. Okay, and... Nope, nope, nope. Okay, just... And there we go. Let's jump across here. I really hope those that's coins in that block. I really hope there's coins in there. Okay. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo. -hoo -hoo -hoo. So scary, guys. So scary. It's a one-up. God dang it. I love one-ups, but right now I do not need one-ups. I need coins. I need coins. Like, I am straight tiptoeing through this level. <laughs> Alright. A couple more. Alright, there we go. We're on a we're on a good we're on a good path. We're on a good path. Run, 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 run. Okay. Ooh. You ain't touching me, Mr. Fire Stick. Again with the one-ups. God dang it. I need coins. Oh no. I'm six coins short. Six coins short. God dang it. There's the thwomp that I need. How do I get to it? Ooh. Okay, well, here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. Instead of going towards the thwomp... Should I... Can I go to the thwomp from here? Is there coins in here? Yes! There's coins in here! Are you telling me I can't reach it? Okay. Okay. I got the 100 coin star. Sure, I'll say. Okay. Uh, now... How am I gonna get up there? Oh man, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get up here. Let's try. This is not gonna work, man. Oh, maybe it will. Maybe it will. Maybe it will. Ah! He smashed my fingers. It's gonna be a lot of trial and error here, guys. A lot of trial and error. Oh, God. I just don't... I don't want to go back down. I, I have, like... If it's not necessary for me to go back down, I don't want to, so... Let's try it this way. Yeah, because if I can wall jump, I can get onto the platform. If I can get on the platform, I can run. Sorry, guys. I know this is not the most entertaining thing to see right now, me jumping into a wall. But I'm trying to make it easy on myself so I don't have to keep coming back up here. Oh, hit the wall, Mario. 
Whoa, 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 baby, baby, baby. Ugh. Come on. How did I do the wall, the wall jump the first time? Oh no, I just want to. Well, I don't want to fall, that's for sure. Let me check to see. Alright, well, since I'm close to that one, let's just get that star. I wasted enough time in a level about a clock, so there you go. <laughs> there we go. I really wanted to do it that way, but I should know better. I should, again, I should know better. No! I should know better to do fancy tricks. I can't do fancy tricks. Okay. Alright. Sorry I wasted so much time right there, guys. That's my bad. That's, that's my bad. Since I'm gonna need the clock in motion to get that one with the thwomp at the top, so. And it's moving at a, a, a fairly decent speed. Okay, at least the good thing here, I don't have to focus on getting coins or anything. I just need to make it to the top. Oh! Easy, easy. Gotta focus, gotta be the Mario, gotta think like the Mario. Ugh. Yeah! Save myself a little bit of climbing if I can just do this. There we go. And... Yeah! <laughs> I wasn't expecting to make that. <laughs> Luck is on my side. Hey, and then we up. Okay, be the Mario. That's my philosophy right now. I must be the Mario. Ooh. You must think like the Mario. You must act like the Mario. To become the Mario. Let's see if I can do this. Yeah! There we go. So I can skip this whole part. Don't worry about getting hit. Ugh. No! Okay, 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 okay. We're okay. Daddy's got you. Daddy's got you. Oh, crap. Uh, Daddy's got you. Don't worry, baby. Okay. Oh, God. All right. Okay, now where's the pen? Where's the where's the hand? Where's the hand? Should be coming around soon, right? There it is. Thanks for the lift. Talk about time saving. Ah, because it's clock level. Get it? Okay, one, two. Ha ha ha! Got it. God dang it, man! That's so. This level's so scary, dude. It's like super scary. Stomp on the thwomp. You bet your butt I did. Alright, now for the last one is the red coins. So this one I do have to wait for the clock to be at a time freezing section. Because otherwise I won't be able to do it. Okay. Waiting for it. And boop! Here we go. Stop time for red coins. Well hey, that's what I just did, right? Okay, yeah. Okay. I wanted to make sure I stopped the clock. If I didn't stop the clock, then I'd have to restart the level. Alright, one, two, three. Okay, alright. Okay. I'm gonna save you because once I get all the red coins, that's where the star appears. So I'm gonna get you, and I'm going to get you. Wow, okay. <laughs> it's just like. <laughs> Throw me a bone, guys. Come on. Okay, can you do that for me? Can you do that for me? Alright, that's okay. I love you guys anyway. <laughs> okay. How did I ever beat this, like, normally as a kid? Holy crap. I'm going to get you! Yeah! That was a cool shot right there. The star appeared, Mario was in the air. Well, there you go, guys. Stopping time for red coins. 
which means we've got all the stars in TikTok clock. So that's going to do it for this episode of Mario 64 Go Go Retro. And in the next episode, we're going to hit the Rainbow Ride. That one's probably the hardest level in the game. But you know what? We're going to try it. We're going to do it. We're going to be the Mario. So until then, guys, remember this was Mario 64. I've been Benchez. I love all your faces. See you next time. And happy national.